All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to my 20, 22, 23 NBA playoff picks. Uh, for some reason, they don't let you do the play-in. I don't know why, but I'll just tell you what team I think will win in the play-in. As you know, I am a Heat fan, and I will have no bias here because our team sucks this year. Anyways, let's get straight into it. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. Leave a like if you guys do enjoy. I usually do this every year. Um, sometimes I do the... Uh, I do a little prediction before the season starts. I didn't do that this year. I'll do it next season. But it is time for playoff prediction. So I'm going to probably speed through this a little bit. I'll explain why I think what. Uh, this is actually a really nice format. Usually the uh, playoff bracket they have on the website is completely different. This is actually really clean. Uh, so we'll, I guess we'll start from the top and go to the bottom. So for the first one, we have the one-seeded Nuggets versus who I think they will face. I believe it will be the Pelicans. I think the Pelicans will beat out the Thunder and the Timberwolves for that last spot. Uh, so in that case, with the Pelicans versus the Nuggets, Zion most likely won't play the series. Uh, and I, I could see the uh, Thunder taking out both the Pelicans and the Timberwolves. I don't see the Timberwolves making it, especially with that Rudy Gobert stuff. They're going to be without Jaden McDaniels. They could make a run, but I'm going to have the Nuggets beating the Pelicans in five games. I don't think they'll sweep them. Usually when it comes to one eights, the eight seed, the lower seeds always get at least one. So I had the Nuggets in five games going on to the second round. For the next one, probably the most anticipated series out of all out of these playoffs in this first round will be the Phoenix Suns versus the Clippers. Paul George will be out for I believe this whole series, most likely, and obviously everyone's probably picking Phoenix here. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to pick Phoenix in seven games. I believe the Clippers can take him to seven. I'm hoping for a great Russell Westbrook performance. He needs it. One of my favorite point guards of all time. I think playoff Kawhi will finally get to see him versus Kevin Durant once again. But I feel like the Suns are just too good. And when they're healthy, they're just going to... They're the better team. They're the better team all around. Westbrook is going to have one of those six or 21 games. It's bound to happen. There's not enough depth on... Well, there's enough depth. But it's not enough star power without Paul George on that Clippers team. Especially with Paul George out. You got, you're got you going to have Kawhi on KD. Who are you going to have guard Devin Booker? Norman Powell? Terrence Mann? Westbrook's going to have to guard Chris Paul? You don't really have... You have Zubac, but I don't think Zubac can really guard DeAndre Ayton that well. So, like I said, Clip, um, Suns in 7. And the Suns have a pretty decent bench. That is the thing. That's probably their biggest weakness would be their bench. Uh, but it's not that bad. Their bench is not that bad. Next up... Kings, Golden State, and everyone is picking Golden State for this one. I understand why, uh, because the Kings are inexperienced, and the Warriors are getting healthy. They're getting Wiggins back. They got Curry back. They're starting to get into a groove. Reigning champions. But I'm going to be different here. I'm going to see the Sacramento Kings winning in six games. I believe the Kings will move on against the Warriors. I feel like something's going to happen to the Warriors. Either they're not going to be able to play well, maybe an injury, which I hope doesn't happen. But I just had the Kings winning the series. I feel like a lot of people think them as a fluke this season almost. Like, yeah, he had a great regular season, but everyone's going to dismiss him on the playoffs saying they don't have playoff um, and they don't have playoff experience. You got Sabonis on that team who's been in the playoffs, um, what, his first year in OKC, he was in the playoffs, and he was with the playoffs with uh, Victor Oladipo as the second best player on that Pacers team. You have Harrison Barnes who has won a championship with the Golden State Warriors and has been to two NBA Finals and has been to the playoffs with the Mavericks. Uh, you have Matthew Del Vidova, who has won a championship. I know he doesn't play, but that's experience there. So I'm sure on their bench, Malik Monk, I believe, has has Malik Monk made the playoffs? No, he was with the Lakers last year. He didn't. So Malik Monk did not make the playoffs because he was with the Hornets. Uh, but there's still there's experience there. I There's definitely some experience there. I just feel like they're going to get the best of the Warriors. I just have a feeling something's going to go wrong. Someone's not going to perform well, whether that be Jordan Poole, whether that be Klay Thompson, whether that be Draymond Green. Something's going to happen. I had the Kings winning. And for the next playing round, uh, obviously, I had the Lakers going in as the 7 seed, going up against Grizzlies. And I don't know if you can see the percentage on the left side, but it has 51% people picking the playing round, which I'm assuming is going to be the Lakers. Um, I, As much as I want to say it, that ain't happening. I think Grizzlies win in five. I love this Lakers team, what they built, Rob Linka built, but I think a lot of people are underestimating the Grizzlies, especially without Steven Adams. I understand who you're going to have to stop uh, Anthony Davis because you have Jaron Jackson, who possible defense player of the year. He fouls a lot, a lot. He fouls out of a lot of games, 
but th th this Lakers team is not better than this Grizzlies team. Like, let's be honest here. There is no way the Grizzlies are going to lose to either the Lakers or the Timberwolves. It's just not going to happen. I feel like AD is not going to show up. I just AD or um, Russell, one of those two are just not going to show up in these playoffs. It's going to come to bite them in the ass. And I think the Lakers are going to make a big shakeup this offseason. They're going to lose in five games to the Grizzlies. And that is basically it for the West. Uh, should I continue to the conference finals? No, we'll just go on to the East. And for the East, round one, we'll go... Well, actually, we'll go different. We'll do the non-play-ins first. So Cavs, Knicks, 4-5. Probably the second most anticipated uh, playoff series. Two very good teams, 4-5 and five seed. You're, you're not beating playoff Donovan Mitchell. I got the Cavs in six. Julius Randle, last time he was in the playoffs, he disappointed heavily against that Hawks team. But he has helped now in a proven playoff performer his first year with Jalen Brunson. I feel like Brunson will ball out. RJ Barrett's the one that scares me a little. I don't think he's going to do much. Uh, and we already know how Julius Randle plays in the playoffs. Hopefully he steps it up. But you're not beating playoff Donovan Mitchell. Evan Mobley is a defensive player of the year candidate. Jared Allen's got that paint locked down. Darius Garland's one of the best point guards in the league. They have one of the better supporting casts in the league with Karis LeVert. Ricky Rubio off the bench. Uh, I don't even know if Seti Osmond gets minutes anymore. Lamar Stevens is a great defender. I got the Cavs winning in six. And for the 3-6 matchup, a lot of people are saying um, Mikel Bridges' revenge against the team that drafted him and traded him, his hometown team. This is the Ben Simmons' revenge. Ben Simmons ain't playing. But then he's going up against his old team. And the last time these two faced in the playoffs, uh, Jared Dudley versus Ben Simmons was a thing. Yep, that was, that was a scrap that happened last time these two teams faced in the playoffs. But I think the Sixers are going to sweep them. I'm very high on the Sixers team this year. I believe the Sixers are going to sweep the Nets. The Nets have had a good story since trading KD and Kyrie. They've basically plateaued. They haven't gotten better. They haven't gotten worse. Uh, they stood at that sixth seed. So that's actually good. Uh, I really think Mikel Bridges is going to be an all-star next year. He's going to be a star in this league. But I don't think they're better than this Sixers team. We'll go to, we'll go to the one seed first. I have, actually, no, we'll go to two for the first play matchup. Seven-seeded Miami versus eight-seeded Atlanta. I have the Miami Heat winning that play-in game against Atlanta. We beat them in the five games uh, last year in round one. Playoff Jimmy is different. I want this matchup against the Celtics for a chance of revenge. And as you can see, it's 100% to 0%. No one has either the Hawks or the Heat beating the Celtics, which is fair. That's fair, because I don't either. I have the Celtics winning in six against the Miami Heat. As much as it pains me, I just don't think this Heat, this Heat team's just not good. If they're not going to hit their shots like they have all season, even though the second half of the season they turned it around, if they're not going to hit three-pointers, they are going to lose this series. Plain, plain and simple. If they can't get their transition defense figured out, they're losing this series. They came close one shot away. It breaks my heart last season from the finals. But this team is practically the same. We just lost P.J. Tucker. That's the only missing piece that we lost. And we've gotten worse because the rest of the East has gotten better. So if the Heat can hit shots, if the Heat can be like second half of the season Heat, last year's conference finals Heat, they can take the Celtics to 7 and hell. They might even win the series. I don't see that happening, sadly. The, I thought... No matter um, coming into post All Star break, I was like, no matter who the Heat face in the first round, they're losing. They're losing either five, they're losing either six. Whether it had been the Bucks, the Celtics, or the Sixers, we were gonna lose. So I had the Celtics winning in six games, which is a pain to me because I despise the Celtics. Next will be the Bucks versus who I believe, I think the, I think, I want to say Atlanta, but I think Toronto is gonna beat out Chicago and Atlanta. To get that eighth seed, I just have a feeling I'd like to say Chicago, but without Lonzo Ball, that team is just not good. The only reason why they got into the play is because the rest of the East either gave up on the rest of the season or it's just not good. I think the only team trailing them were the Pacers and the Wizards. Pacers are in rebuild mode, and the Wizards are the Wizards. So I got the Raptors taking out the Bulls and the Hawks. Going up against the Milwaukee Bucks, 1-8 matchup. Clean sweep. Bucks are sweeping them. They can't stop Giannis. They have no matchup for that Bucks team. This Bucks team is something to deal with. So, as you can see, I have all the higher seeds winning, which doesn't usually happen all the time. But it is what it is. I feel like the East it will probably be the easiest to predict. I think that all the higher seeds are going to win in the East. It's just a matter of the games uh, for the Easter Conference. The West is a lot more difficult, obviously. 
But let's go back up to the Western Conference. Denver Nuggets, Phoenix Suns. I'm sure a lot of people are going to have the Phoenix Suns winning this series. Uh, I don't think so. I got the Nuggets winning in six games. Uh, I believe they don't have an answer for Jokic. They just don't. Say DeAndre Aiden. Aiden is a defensive center. Aiden is not going to stop Jokic in the paint. You could also say no one is going to stop Kevin Durant. They don't have a KD stopper. They have some people that can slow him down, like Aaron Gordon. Uh, Aaron Gordon. <laughs> That's really it. But I just feel like Denver's depth, Denver's all-around starting five, it, it, it's better. It's better. They have the two-time MVP in Jokic, arguably the best player in the league. Aaron Gordon, who's having a fantastic season, amazing defensively. Uh, Michael Porter Jr., who can give you either 25 or 12 a night. No in-between. Uh, they got KCP, who's a great 3 and D player. He's always been on winning teams, it feels like, ever since he's left Detroit. Uh, besides when he was the, with the Wizards. We don't talk about that. And Jamal Murray. We all know how Jamal Murray gets in the playoffs. He hasn't been in the playoffs since, I believe, the bubble, right? He's been hurt ever since. I think so. Unless they made it. I think they made it a year prior before he got hurt. I don't remember. But I just feel like this Denver team, Bruce Brown off the bench... Uh, Chris Braun, I think is his name. He's a shooter off their bench. I, I don't know why I can't think of anyone else off that bench, but I know they have a really, really good bench. But I have them beating the Suns in six. That's probably a controversial one, but I'm high on this Nuggets team. And then Sacramento, Memphis. I'm sorry, Sacramento. This is where it ends. Memphis is going to beat you in five. It It is what it is. I, I feel odd having the, the one and two seed in the Western Conference, which shouldn't be a thing. I shouldn't feel odd about that. But I do, because usually lower seeds end up... The three seed won the championship last year. It was a three and the two seed in the NBA Finals. But that is my Western Conference Finals. Denver, Memphis. Let's go to the East. Uh, Cavs, Bucks. I have the Bucks in seven games. The Cavs will give the Bucks trouble. They can build a wall with Jared Allen and Mobley. They can slow down Giannis with those two bigs. It's a supporting cast. Drew Holiday is probably going to go off in the series. Chris Middleton might go off in the series. Mitchell and Garland are not going to be able to slow those two down. But Drew Holiday can slow at least one of those two down. And it's probably going to be Mitchell he's going to be guarding. So I have the Bucks beating the Cavaliers in seven. I feel like if we get this series, this might be one of the best series of the playoffs. And for the 3-2 seed Boston Philly, I have the Philadelphia 76ers beating the Celtics in seven games. Like I said, I am super high on the Sixers team. I have been since the beginning of the season. I know they haven't performed as well as I thought they would, but I'm not I'm not giving up on the Sixers team. I am not. I have them beating the Celtics in seven. The Celtics have been on a little bit of a slide in the second half of the season. They still got the two seed. They still have the second best record in the league, but there's some issues going on with their team when it goes to internally with Jalen Brown, all those rumors, all those issues. Uh, I just feel like they've been slowing down recently. They're not going to have a stopper for Embiid. If you say Al Horford is going to slow down Embiid, you're stupid. Embiid is going to eat this series. They're probably going to throw Brown or Tatum on uh, James Harden. I feel like James Harden might struggle in this series. But I think this is a series where Tyrese Maxey or Tobias Harris will step up. And don't forget, they got P.J. Tucker on their team. P.J. Tucker is going to be sitting in that corner like he did in the Heat series. Hopefully knocking down some quarter threes. And I think the Sixers take out the Boston Celtics in seven games. So the East, two seven-game series, that that should be fun. Those are the matchups I want to see. So now both conference finals sent. Denver, Memphis, Milwaukee, Philly. I have the Memphis Grizzlies winning in six games against the Denver Nuggets. I thought about it. I was like, Denver might might do it. All right, this, this Grizzlies team is good. Steven Adams will be back by then. I had the Grizzlies making it to the finals. I'm going to look back on this and regret this probably. I guarantee you. Grizzlies beat the Nuggets in six. The reason for that, if Steven Adams is back, he can help Jaron Allen uh, try and slow down Jokic. Jaws, the second best player in the series. Uh, Jamal Murray ain't going to do nothing to try and guard him. Uh, Desmond Bain. Uh, who else? Who's that small forward? I forgot. Oh, Dylan Brooks. Yeah, we don't talk about him. Memphis has the better overall roster. They have arguably probably the best backup point guard in the league in Tyus Jones. They have, uh, I know they lost Brandon Clark to an ACL injury, so that kind of hurts. I forgot about that. Oh, they have Zaire Williams off the bench who could play a pivotal role in these playoffs defensively. There's just a lot of players that could come into these series and have a pivotal role that didn't in the uh, regular season. So 
I'm just going to say it. Grizzlies in the NBA Finals. Bucks, Sixers. I had the Milwaukee Bucks beating the Sixers in seven games. Uh, going into the season, I had the Sixers being in the Finals. But just the way the Bucks have been playing this year, the way Giannis, the way Drew Holiday has been playing this year, Bobby Portis, Brooke Lopez is playing like a Defensive Player of the Year candidate, which he is. He is at least second in that name, in that race. The the Bucks can't be dealt with right now. They they really can't. They're the Sixers. I could see this being six games. I could see this being five games possibly. I'm gonna go seven because you can't count out Embiid and Harden, Maxi. That Sixers team is really deep. But Giannis, that Bucks team is built perfectly around Giannis, perfectly to make a run. And that's why for these NBA Finals, I see the Milwaukee Bucks winning in six games against the Memphis Grizzlies, getting their second championship. And I believe three years. I know I must be logged in. You won't let me log in. Uh, the Milwaukee Bucks will beat the Grizzlies in the finals. Drew Holiday will clamp up John Morant. It'll be his first time in the finals. I feel like he'll struggle. You got Brooke Lopez on Jaron Jackson Jr. Stop telling me to sign in. I know. And then Desmond Bain, he might go off. But this Bucks team matches up just completely over this Grizzlies team. So I had the Bucks winning the NBA championship. And that is my playoff prediction. I will probably look back on this and regret all these picks. But maybe I won't. Maybe it'll be good. Anyways, that's going to be it for me. Leave a like guys did enjoy. Subscribe guys are new. GG.